Greetings to you, ladies and gentlemen. Still within the old year of 2021. Three more days. We are heralding a new year, 2022. Today, being the 28th of December, from Dehiwala Beach in Sri Lanka. I'm delighted to have done this thoughts across to you all. I know that many people have immensely benefited based on the responses that I have received regularly. This COVID-19, nearly now over two years, I thought that this pandemic will bring the global community together. But the opposite has happened. The multilateral agencies like UN and all the UN related bodies, they don't see the big picture. They still operate in silos and they don't see eye to eye. As a result of they don't see the big picture. Then look at the, the economic frontier, the big, the global banks, the World Bank, the IMF, the ADBs, European Bank and all these people. Yet to see the big picture, they don't see eye to eye. Look at the, the global governments, they don't see eye to eye. Whether it's uh, developed countries, developing countries, underdeveloped countries, rich countries, poorer countries, highly populated countries, less populated countries. All these people don't see the big picture and eye to eye. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, we have 7.8 billion people. The whole planet Earth has resources, the existing resources, in every frontier. Whether it's economic, whether it's agriculture, whether it's technology, whether it's clothes, whether it's food. To 10 times, to 10 times to feed the 7.8 billion people. Remember that. There's enough resources in the planet Earth globally to feed 10 times a day. Can you believe this? But what happens? There is marginalization. There is starvation. There is famine. There is malnutrition. There is sicknesses. Whereas some countries are immensely benefiting accumulating wealth unprecedented exponentially, exploiting the resources of the planet Earth, creating greater marginalization, inequality. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is going to be continued despite this global pandemic, and the global pandemic has created more inequalities, more corruption, more marginalization, more countries have become bankrupt and poor. This is the reality now. This is not because of the pandemic, of any natural disasters. It is the man's egocentric behavior for global dominance and enriching themselves beyond the measure of acceptable norms of the society. And that is where we have been stuck with this pandemic, for whatever the reason, for us to open our eyes. Yet, people are closing their eyes and going on their merrymaking despite all that. And there are millions and billions are affected by virtue of that. There's a handful full of people immensely going on a journey of adventure, exploitation, extravagance all the time. There would be an end to this and that would be not far away.